So I wanted to make a video um, celebrating, I guess, my two years free from Kratom as of today. And, um, you know, I, I, I look on YouTube and I see a lot of different comments and people asking and uh, whether I'm still on Kratom or not. No, it's been two years. And um, I have to say I'm very happy with where I'm at being clean from Kratom for two years. It was... Um, you know, you go through the stage of acute withdrawal, which is about three to five days. And then after that, you get into the zone where your mind is kind of repairing and your body is kind of repairing. And that can take weeks to months. But at this point, two years out, I am uh, I'm free from it. And I have no desire to go back to Kratom. Um, the trade-off wasn't worth it for me. And... Um, even though I've been to places that sell it again and, and, um, you know, seen the old packaging I used to remember, I have, I've had really no desire to go back to it. In fact, I've, it's inspired me to get off of other substances. Um, I'm working on getting off Kratom or, uh, Klonopin right now. And it's been, um, I've been getting really down low on doses on that as well. And, a lot of my motivation lately has been looking at our supply chain, which is pretty scary. It's scary to think about that things we, our bodies might be dependent on are, uh, I guess, having interference right now. You know, my clonopin could have a problem at the pharmacy, like shipping and, and trucking and different problems from, I suppose it's, it's coronavirus. I'm not sure, but, um, you know, I'm getting over COVID right now. Uh, I had, contact contracted it whatever you want to call it um about a week and a half ago and um i was definitely sick i was tired but i uh took vitamin c i took zinc and i feel like i am i i suffered less sim symptoms than i thought i might with it but you know a lot of people are out of work right now and i just kind of see the economy going into slowdown again which you know if if the supply chains do get interrupted and we're dependent on something, then it's not going to be our choice when we go off. It's going to be the choice of, uh, you know, a situational choice where because we're unable to get Kratom or Klonopin or whatever medication we might need, it's uh, it, it's time to quit. And I don't like the idea of having to quit by force because who knows what else could be going on during that time. So I've um, I've used it as motivation to really get off a lot of things. And um you know, through God, prayer, and um, trying to tune into the Holy Spirit and just be aware of, of spiritual needs instead of fleshly needs, I I feel like I'm breaking these chains of, um, I guess, addiction that have plagued me most of my life. And it feels good. It feels almost like the same energy that I was putting into um, using drugs at one point and obtaining my drugs is now the same energy that I'm putting into refraining from them and cleaning up my life and trying to eat healthier and trying to make wise choices. So, um, two years out, I feel just absolutely incredible. And I am so grateful to God for helping me through this. I'm so grateful to subscribers that have watched and have encouraged me along the way and watching other people that have wanted to get off Kratom as well, being able to do so through the help of my channel. If you're looking to get off Kratom, I have a ton of videos that go through my steps um, and what I did and what I used. And I just kind of wanted to make this video to say, yeah, two years out, I feel great. I feel happy. I feel happy to be done with it. Um, and I just feel like my life has taken a completely new direction in those two years since making um, my relapse videos on Kratom. So um, anyways, to answer questions, no, I'm not back on Kratom. I am clean. I am trying to... Um, trying to get off the clonopin as well, trying to just shape up my life and um, do, you know, I don't know, live differently. I have a totally different perspective and it might be my age now. <laughs> I'm getting some older wisdom, I guess. But yeah, it can be done. It's um, It feels great to be done. And um, I just wanted to say hi to you guys and Happy New Year and God bless.